So I'm Jessie, I'm 21 and I got sarcoma. My massive dream is to become a childcare worker, so just finish that and go to Hawaii in like the next two years is my plan, can't wait. Sarcomas are cancers of bone and soft tissue. Um, they can occur at any age. They can occur in, in small children all the way up to uh, elderly patients. They're more common as a proportion of cancers in young, young people and adolescents, but in older people they actually are quite a rare group of cancers. So in the group that I work with, which is the adolescents and young adults, actually sarcomas make up quite a big proportion of cancers seen in this age group between 15 and 25 years of age. Um, I, broke my, I went to Westmead Hospital because I slipped on a dog's toy and broke my leg and that's when they found the tumour and they said it was benign and that I was fine and then it just, my leg got bigger and got more painful. And so I went to my local doctor and she referred me to a specialist and that's when he said we need to do a biopsy and that's when they found out it was cancer. And I just got promoted, was having a two week trial and I broke my leg the second day in. So they said, look, sorry, we need to give it to someone else because I was going to be on six weeks. I wasn't allowed to walk on it for, and then say another week and a half, two weeks to get used to walking again. The traineeship I got, I thought my leg was fine. So I was like, I need a new job. So I did traineeship. I loved it, loved working. It was a Monday to Friday job, different to my other job that I had. And I loved it. And then it just got worse because I was changing nappies and picking up kids. And then that's when I knew there was definitely something wrong. I've known Jessie for about six months. Over this time, she's had a major operation. She's been confined to bed for a significant length of time. She's had lots of chemotherapy. She's had radiation therapy. She had an event where she was so sick that her heart stopped beating for several minutes. And then next thing you know, I wake up in a totally different, in the recess emergency. I was in just the cubicle before. And everyone telling me that they had to shock me and that I died. And I was like, what? Like I was, I was excited to, not the fact that I died, but the fact that I had come back. Many collective years of expertise in medical, in the medical management, surgical and radiation management of patients. And it's really important that, that those strengths are built on and, and, and strengthened because that is the way we believe will, will provide sarcoma patients for New South Wales and beyond with the best outcomes. Sarcomas are complex patients with um, and, and no two patients are alike. You need to have experts, um, input from multidisciplines, and from all the allied health, such as the rehabilitation, physiotherapy, nursing, that goes with it. Hello, my name's Eileen Hennigan, and I'm the CEO of Chris O'Brien Lifehouse. At Lifehouse, we treat many young sarcoma patients, just like Jessie. There are many emerging trends and treatments for these patients and we want to be the centre that gives them this care. Like Jessie, Lifehouse can't do it on its own. It needs you and it needs your help. With you, we can help them not just survive, but thrive. <laughs>